Eight, Kyle. Seven, six, I've been looking forward to this match five, since it got put on four, the bracket. This is going to be three, nasty and two, fun, and I one. can't wait. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, Kyle. Oh, and Hunter Yankaskis has found his way to the side of Noisy Boy. That's what it is. I mean, Hunter Yankaskis, he's a really strategic fighter. He picks his shots. He looks for the places where he can come at you and get massive hits. And Noisy Boy, from what we've seen so far, he's just a brawler. He hits you where he's looking. He doesn't care if it's opportune or not. Wow, and Judge's Dream has corralled Noisy Boy into the corner and uh, and got it up on its head, up against the rails. That is a good pin. And that shot, they've got the name on the back of the robot, so you know who's pinning, Kyle. I love it. I love it. The branding on Judge's Dream is beautiful. All right, it looks like, uh, like Noisy Boy is very painfully dragging itself along the floor. Yeah. It, it is on its head, and it cannot self-right. It is on its weapon. Yeah, it is resting right there on its weapon. Judge's Dream has pinned it once again. Yeah, they're very stuck. Are they stuck? Looks like it. Huh. Looks like uh, looks like Judge's Dream got stuck on top of Noisy Boy, and Noisy Boy is just stuck because it's on his weapon and can't seem to drive. All right, 90 seconds left in this fight. I see a bit of a wheel. Is that Noisy Boy's wheel? I do believe that is Noisy Boy's wheel, yeah. Interesting. You can kind of see it. It's like pulling itself along on its, uh, on its weapon. Yeah, not ideal. You don't want to roll on a weapon, typically. And Hunter has, has yet again successfully pinned his opponents with 60 seconds left. Seems to me to be a somewhat one-sided match. Although I will tell you, if Noisy Boy is, manages to get over <laughs> onto its feet again, Hunter is going to be in trouble. You got to wonder if there's uh, perhaps some uh, unsportsmanlike but uh, strategic thinking about just letting Noisy Boy get counted out on its own. 30 seconds left. I don't know, there's a lot of uh, material in the box. Yeah, none of that is the uh, orange and black color. 20 seconds left. This one will very likely go to the judges. Noisy Boy just can't get back over to, uh, back onto its feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Judge's Dream, drive to the door if you can. This one goes to the judges. We got one new super chat again from Rara. She sends 20 pounds to say the last of my super chat budgeting. Norwalk is an awesome event, but serious shout out to all bot event runners for giving us a place to play with our angry little robot friends. Robot combat is a wonderful and awesome thing. I think we can all agree with that. Thank you so much, Rara. All right, how are you doing, judge friends? So let's go ahead and start with you, Don. What did you think about that fight? Uh, it was an like exciting first 30 seconds. Good back and forth. Uh, yeah. Once Noisy Boy got upside down, it was just pin after pin after pin from Judge's Dream. I got to go with All right. We've got one vote for Judge's Dream. How about you, Andrew? Your thoughts? Yeah, it was a good start of the fight. And then once uh, the drum was upside down and it could kind of roll a little bit, there wasn't a lot of control or aggression there, and it was really Judge's Dream driving the fight from that point. So, yeah. Judge's Dream for me. Okay, we've got two votes for Judge's Dream. Jack, your thoughts? Yeah, Judge's Dream for me too. They were in control for the majority of the fight and just were all over Voxel. Not Voxel, Noisy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> a little Freudian slip there. All right, we've got a, a unanimous judge's decision for Judge's Dream, which advances to winner's bracket round six action. Thank you very much, judges. Oh, this is another fight that I've been looking forward to. We're getting into all the fun fights here.